Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. Today's another episode of M Scrapbusters. First, though, I wanted to show you a few things that I had gotten um, in the mail. Um, not, well, it's happy mail to me, but I bought the stuff, <laughs> most all of it. Anyway, um, and then uh, one thing that we have in the shop that uh, mom has shown but I wanted to show you too and then we'll get to our M scrap busters it is a good one y'all and it uses just regular old mailing envelopes like this so I can't wait for you to see that all right these are um, the little velcro dots there is uh, a thousand pieces in this one pack and this is the 10 millimeter. So I love using these in journals to um, close up flaps at the tops of pockets or um, using them in folios to close up, use them as closures that way. Um, so anywhere you would use, uh, say a magnet to close up something, you can use these little Velcro dots. They are amazing. and. Um, that I got them off of Amazon and I will leave the link to that in the description box below if you want to pick up some of those they were very very inexpensive so I'll leave the link for those love those those are like a must-have on my journaling um, list <laughs> uh, I got this fun tall and skinny skinny alphabet stamp set from Coco Daisy. They have this in their um, Daisy shop. You know, uh, that's the company that I get um, monthly subscriptions from. They have all kinds of planner kits, scrapbooking kits, things like that. And it's fun and whimsical stuff most of the time. So this is not a um, vintage per se company, um, but I do like to um, do a few things that's not vintage every once in a while so I get a monthly kit from them but this is in their store they have an actual store you don't have to subscribe to everything on Coco Daisy and I just loved that tall and skinny stamp set so I can see that being used quite a bit in my future and um, I will leave the link to that uh, if there's any more of these I will leave the link I just thought this was the cutest stinking thing I had ever seen. It is a teapot notepad and they're sticky notes too. I just love those. If there's any of those left, I'll leave a link. Um, if you don't see a link for these in the description box below, you'll know that they're sold out. I'm sorry. But anyway, I'll leave you links to those in the Coco Daisy um, shop. These are a special surprise I am um, going to give away two of these to um, Bethany and Alicia by the time I um, post this video surely I will have already given them to them but we have this little inside joke going about sprinkles if one of us is whining or something on the group bus and uh, <laughs> uh, like if Alicia says I want coffee and one of us will turn around and look at her and go with sprinkles um, so we <laughs> I saw these pins and I thought these are too cute look they have sprinkles in the barrel very very fun so this pink one pink is Bethany's favorite color that will be hers and then um, teal this is Alicia's favorite color it's mine Alicia's and mama's favorite color so that teal one will go to Alicia and then I got myself an aqua or a turquoise colored one beautiful and I just love those these are from this is the first time I've ever ordered from this company it's called um, Kalo Chick on Instagram um, I saw these and I thought I love these and they're not too bad as far as price point um, I will leave the link to her uh, shop and her IG 
um, link in the bottom in the description box but um, I also got this and it's way too big to show all of it so I will show a still shot in a minute so there it is Kalo Chick if you can see that Kalo Chick and this is her um, bag collection this is a laptop bag here's the still shot of the complete the full bag and then on the inside I'll show you I needed a bag that I could put my laptop in so it's got this flap here that you open up and then that full part there will hold my MacBook my laptop and there's all kinds of little pockets throughout it here's a little hook there we've got an inside zipper pocket we've got look at pin loops in there we've got a zipper pocket here and then that is see-through there I know it's huge um, I'm just trying to show you everything and then we've got another little elastic <laughs> elastic top pocket there and they're really deep too I love this bag love it love it love it so there it is in all its glory on the inside and then on the outside it's got a pocket there and then it's got a zippered pocket here that goes all the way through look at there so if you are traveling with this and you have a suitcase you know with the long handle unzip this and it goes on to your handle of your suitcase how great is that so easy traveling and then on the front it's also got another zippered pocket there on the front I love this bag uh, I think she had a couple of different designs but I love the navy and um, brown or taupe of this one so anyway I will show you um, her picture where she had it on a um, suitcase handle I'll show you that picture and then you already seen that still shot of it but I just love that bag I wanted to share that with y'all if anybody's looking for a bigger bag to carry around their laptop so her IG is K-A-I-L-O-C-H-I-C Kalo Chick Kalo Chick I'm sure I'm probably not saying that right anyway she's got a lot a lot a lot of cute stuff on there and I got these pins and that laptop bag from her um, you have seen mom show these these are our slot pockets that B and E designed for us and these are the craft color when you get them they're going to have that um, soot on them where the machine has you know burnt actual burnt the um, chipboard or the cardstock to make these um, if you flip them over on the other side they don't have as many of the little uh, burn marks on them but I mean I like the burn marks it doesn't matter you can um, cover all this up decorate that and then when you're putting it in a journal you would glue down just the three corners not the top and then you have a pocket here you have a pocket there pocket there and a top pocket too so those are the slot pockets we have in the shop I had realized just realized that I have not shown you all those before but um, we have sold quite a bit of these I think we have these in craft white black and red right now in the shop so pick your color and get you a couple of packs of those and then I placed an order with very sweet plans on uh, Instagram and Etsy so she always sends freebies I mean with 
maybe even the smallest little orders I've ever placed with her, she has sent me a freebie of some kind. I just love her. Her name is Missy. Um, I have been buying from her for years and years and years. And I do keep a planner and take a planner with me most everywhere. So um, I like her little clips that she has. Most everything in her shop is um, clip, paper clips of some kind, decorated paper clips. And these were just too cute. I'm going to get all of these open. Hold on one second. All right, so these are what I ordered. And this is what she sent me free. Look at that. Too cute. Now, you can use these in your journals too. They're paper clips. Use them wherever you want to use them. Use them as bookmarks, use them as decoration, whatever. Um, I also use these in my Bible journal, in my traveler's notebooks, my planners. When I'm reading my regular old physical books. Hmm, imagine that. People actually read physical books. <laughs> But these are just too cute. I love them. I'm always ordering from her. You have um, all kinds of options as far as uh, clip color, clip size. So this is a gold clip. There's a teardrop clip. I got this one as a wide clip. I love, I am a buffalo plaid kind of girl. And when I saw this in her shop, I was like, mm, that's me. Gotta have that one. And then I got the little teardrop charm clip that matches that. Look how good that looks together. Yummy. And then this little clip. I didn't have any, I don't think, that's got a, um, red in them at all. So I really like that fabric clip. Look at the little B one. Too cute. This purple one I could not resist because it had my favorite color in it too. Then this little ribbon one. Those were fabric clips. And this one is a ribbon, and it's gray with some, like, blue and, um, yeah, blue stars. Kind of glitzy looking. I love that little flag um, ribbon clip. So, add these wherever you would like, in journals, or books, or planners, or Bibles, or whatever. Sermon notebooks, that would be great. Keep your little... Um, place in your book whatever book you want to add them to so she sent me this little red white and blue Americana ribbon paper clip for free and then look at this one look at that fabric one how pretty is that that just screams summer right there to me love that and then this little red and white striped one uh, I got a bow one to match my flag one. Same material. Love that. This one is darling. It's a little double bow with some yellow and blue flowers on it. Too cute. And then this green one. Look at that. Beautiful green color. It's more lime than it's showing on camera. Too cute. Um, but yeah, I use these everywhere and I just love getting new ones because I love making my books pretty. So that is Missy at Berry Sweet Plans on Instagram and Etsy. I will leave her links below also. Uh, this teardrop one, you can add the, I mean, you can add any of these top or bottom, but I love adding these little charm ones at the bottom of your pages especially in a planner I mean look how cute that is and it's just a little dangle at the bottom of your book and a bookmark all at the same time but pretty <laughs> oh, anyway yep that's what I get from Missy I love very sweet plans and I had not ordered from her in a while and she had some of the cutest little designs so I thought mm, it's time for another very sweet um, purchase uh, also if you visit uh, Kaleo Chick Coco Daisy or Berry Sweet Plans please 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 um, be sure to mention me 
just say Melina sent me please 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 I would love you so much so much so much if you did that for me so M's scrap busters we are making these cute as a button wrap around pockets for our journals and they are made from get this regular old envelopes these little beady envelopes not the long business ones which I mean you could use those if you wanted to if that's all you got but these are just the standard little six and a half by three and five eighths envelopes and they make the cutest little wrap around pockets now if you had some of these that were dyed ink dyed tea dyed whatever um, you could just add these to the journals and you didn't even wouldn't even have to decorate them if you didn't want to but um, these pockets have a little tuck here at the bottom a pocket here and then you've got a top pocket there and then same thing on the other side you got a little tuck here pocket there pocket there and I have just inked some tea stained paper and wrapped it up and made it look like a little envelope and tucked it there in the front and same thing with this piece of scrap cardstock just folded it up and made it look like a little envelope just for some extra journaling space so there is our prototype or example and I am going to show you how these come together and they're super duper duper easy so all you need is your envelope and you can use scissors if you've got a really steady hand I don't when it comes to scissors so I'm putting mine on my trimmer and we're just going to cut off that flap so just where that fold is that fold line on your envelope is already that's what we're gonna that's our guideline and we're just going to trim off that top flap just like that okay and then you're going to flip it over the open part is here here is our flap that we cut off y'all that's it that's how this comes together okay so here's our bottom flap middle flap and then when it gets glued on to your page there's your top flap uh, bottom tuck middle pocket top pocket okay y'all see you see how it's coming together all, right. all I did on that one is got out my scrap bowl that's overflowing and I covered up so I got my tape runner you can get out your uh, I don't know glue stick if you want to you can use liquid glue but just be careful that you don't squish any liquid glue into this part you're only wanting your um, adhesive on this bottom part not on the inside okay so we're just putting some adhesive on the outside here and then all over the middle part too okay just like that so everything's sticky but there nothing sticky there yet okay and then I'm just going to piece on some papers and you can use book page you can use whatever you've got any kind of scrap you got will work and I'm just gonna put it on there kind of willy-nilly I'm gonna put this on here like that so I'll need just a little bit more glue here and here um, let's not cover up too much of that book page trim off that bottom there and give me some torn edge 
on this side too. Now you can ink everything if you want to before you add it on. Oh yeah, that looks better. Okay. Or not. You don't have to if you don't want to. Alright, I've got some adhesive showing outside of this and I don't know if I'm going to cover any more of that up or not. So I'm going to use my little handy dandy adhesive eraser and get all that excess glue up that I put down there that I didn't need. Okay, but I'm just wanting to put glue on this bottom part. So that's why I'm putting it on here and not on the backs of this because I don't want anything closing up my pocket there at the top. And then we're going to go through and cut that excess off in just a minute. So bear with me. Okay, I'm going to put that little piece there. And if we need glue in some nooks and crannies, that is fine. I'll use some liquid glue. Um, and then we need to cover up this top section and I think I will do that with this piece let's do some little bit of tearing right there Right, and then another just a little bitty piece of something there in the corner and I might come back and put a little extra something something on some of these planar parts but remember you're going to be putting that flap down here at the bottom so some of this is going to get covered up so let's get off all this excess and be sure not to cut into your envelope at all because you don't want the sides split open. That wouldn't make it much of a pocket if all the sides were split open. Just make it a big piece of paper. Okay, and then trim off this top just like that. And then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to cut down to the fold and then back up. So just follow the line of your envelope. This middle section is going to get covered up so no big worries if you don't get that beautiful there in the middle all right now if you want to do some inking I will do that now just here in the edge and here on this edge and a little bit throughout like that and then I'll go ahead and ink my flap Now I'll come back and put on some glue where this is coming up. It's okay if you get ink on this back side, you're going to cover it up anyway. So if you've got a big enough book page, it would be easy just to go along and add that completely over the top of that and then just add you a few little scrap pieces if you wanted to. But I wanted to show you decorating one with all scraps, not one full book page. Okay, so there's a little little patchwork envelope going so far. Now, you want to put your bottom flap with that adhesive, you know, the that comes with it. You want to put that adhesive on this side. If your pocket ever gets wet, and you've decorated it that way, that adhesive on the back is going to get stuck in there and then 
you're going to have a pocket that's all closed up. And that's never good. Okay? So then this flap is going to go on like this, but I'm going to decorate first. I've got this beautiful music paper. I'm going to put some double-sided tape on here. I might go in with a glue stick on a little bit of it too. But I just love my double-sided tape. It's easy for me. And just put it on. So there's music paper right in the middle. I think that'll be sweet. And maybe some of this torn paper here. And I will put a little bit of liquid glue on this edge here so it stays down. Alright, and then I'm going to get that 8 on there pretty good. So let's put a little bit right there and add that on and then flip it over. Use my sticky scissors to go along that flap. Ooh, that paper was pretty on the back side too. Alright, there is our flap decorated. I'm going to ink that up. Look at that. That's really going to um, show that definition of, hey, this is another piece here when you put on your ink all the way across the bottom and then maybe dirty up a little bit on there like that. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so all I'm going to do is put adhesive right down the middle. Just one, maybe two little fourth inch lines right down the middle. And then ever so slightly do the tiniest little line of liquid glue on the bottom all the way across your flap. Okay, and then add that on, rub down the middle, and then you can use your bone folder to go across the bottom and make sure that's on there really well and all glued down and then make sure again that you don't have anything going on inside here okay then on the inside I just had a larger piece of scrap that I thought would really go with this and I'm going to find myself a little cut line where I need to trim this down so it fits in there nice. Okay, and get my trimmer. Trim that off and then put it down in there just to make sure that you've got it cut right. And I think that looks fine. I'm going to use my scissors just to trim off that top piece so it's not sticking out above it. Okay. Another piece for my scrap bucket. There's another eight showing on there, huh? I'm going to ink the top of this and then slide it down in our envelope 
I'm going to use my glue stick and cover that up really well. And then slide it down in our envelope. I have found that using glue stick is a lot easier when you're wanting to slide something down into something and get it in place. And there we go. And then I'm just going to use my messy rag to push that down. Okay. Just like that. Now, next step, you know, this could be used just like this if you wanted to. You don't even have to fold it over. You could use it like this on a page or like this on a page as a tuck and just glue down a couple of sides on it and you would have a tuck, a pocket, and then a tuck and a tuck. But for us today, we are making it a wrap around pocket. And all I'm going to do is fold it backwards, make my edges meet, use my bone folder. To press down that fold and then you've got your six slot wrap around pocket from an envelope I love this little thing I love how versatile it is and you can use this anywhere in your journal it's a great way to use up envelopes that you might even get in the mail you can use up the envelope like that. So all I did on this one was put some eighth inch score tape at the very bottom and then I put eighth inch score tape here and here, left that open and I didn't put anything down through there. So I had that open, this second flap here, pocket, and then your tuck at the bottom and same thing on this side. What do y'all think about that? Super duper easy. I mean, the thing that took the longest was decorating it. And like I said, if you've got some dyed envelopes already, you don't even have to decorate them if you don't want to. Or you can just use your ink all over a white envelope and then just put a few little die cuts on it to decorate it. You don't have to collage. You know why I collage? Because I love to collage. <laughs> And then to add them on, you would just take off whatever adhesive you use. Just take off the backing if you use um, score tape. And you would plop it on and then fold it over and really adhere it down and plop it on there. So there's your wrap around envelope pocket with six slots. Love these. Now, you're going to get a little bit of warping if you use some um, thick cardstock to decorate, so you'll have to manipulate it a little bit. Um, if you want to just use some paper, you can too, whatever you would like to do. If y'all make these, make sure to use the hashtag M's Scrapbusters so that I can find it and leave you some love. I am behind on that, but... Uh, I will get there. There's our little slots. Whoop. That one's wanting to close up just a little bit. There we go. And here are the slots. If that was in on a page, there would be your top pocket. And then tuck, tuck, and then another top pocket there. If y'all make these, make sure to use the hashtag M Scrapbusters so that I can find you and leave you some love. Love y'all. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye y'all.